Do you think DAG, DAGs like IOTA and HashGraph are like a threat to like traditional blockchains? All right, so the question is about DAGs. DAGs, what is that? <laughs> that is where rather than having a chain of blocks that are linked together, every transaction links to previous transactions. And now you have a graph of things that are all linked together. And you can run that graph of things to determine an order. The primary difference between the DAG approach and the blockchain approach has to do with latency. How long does it take for everyone to reach an agreement on what the order is? Uh, and then once you agree on the order, you have to agree on the validity. So something like hash graph, uh, everyone's submitting transactions, everyone's saying, hey, I saw this transaction at this time, but you don't know if a transaction is valid until you know the order in which you apply it. For example, if you're transferring money, uh, the a transfer out of your account must occur before, sorry, after a transfer into your account. And so a DAG might recognize that there's these two transactions. The, until you know the order, you don't know if they're valid. And so first you have to establish order, then you have to go to the second pass of establishing validity. And then after you establish validity, now you can start to do the next phase. So that creates high latency, and even if the latency is just a couple seconds, um, it's still quite high if you're trying to do, all right, I need to wait for this to finalize before I go into my next step, right? That's like a very slow <laughs> process. What we do with blockchains is, uh, each block produces every 500 milliseconds, they're producing a block, uh, and then they change jobs every three seconds. That means you have very, very low latency. Uh, determining the order of things, uh, if you look at the physics of it, uh, every point in space sees a different order of events uh, generated in other points in space. So order can only be determined from a single perspective um, if you want to go very quickly. So we change where that perspective is, but there's only ever one, point in, uh, one person, one point in time and space that's determining the order, which gives you lower latency. So when I hear about hash graph and <clears throat> millions of transactions per second, it, there's a difference between quantity and quality, validated versus unvalidated. If all you're doing is trying to order events without consideration of the validity, uh, hash graph can work, but if you need to do dependent relationships between them, I, I don't think it's quite so scalable.